The most vital part of your bike to have working properly are your brakes and we thoroughly recommend checking them before you go out training. However, if you do go out and notice that there's substandard braking performance, then you'll have to do something about it and we suggest you stop straight away. That's if you can. We're going to go through a few of the main problems that you might encounter now and a few very easy ways in which you can rectify them. Some of which you'll need a tool for, the Allen keys that you've taken out with you of course on your multi-tool and other solutions you won't need a tool at all. Before you do anything, there's one thing that you should check straight away because if it's this problem, then it can be solved in a matter of a second or so. Most calipers, especially SRAM and Shimano, have an adjustment here, pulls the brakes inwards and outwards. It's just a simple case of making it easier to get your tire out through the calipers when you want to take your wheel off. So if it's upwards like this, turn it back down and that might solve your problem. Now, it doesn't matter what type of brakes you're using or how good quality they are, everybody's pads will wear down. If you're riding in particularly wet and muddy conditions, that wear will accelerate even more. And you'll notice that as they do wear, you'll have to pull your brake levers on a little bit further, pull more cable through before those pads actually meet the rim. And there comes a point where you might find that the brake lever is pulled all the way back to the bar and the pads here haven't even reached the rim. At that point, you'll need to do some adjustments. Now, there is the one that you can do, just with your hands. Most brake calipers on road bikes will have barrel adjusters here. You simply need to unscrew them and that will gradually push the brake pads closer to the rim. Now whether or not this works depends on how far your pads are away from the rim and also whether or not the barrel adjuster was already unscrewed a little way. This one was fully tight but as you can see it's now working okay. However, if you do find that the barrel adjuster was already out or they're still not uh, contacting the rims here with the brake pads, you'd have to actually adjust the cable itself. Now, that's also quite a simple thing to do, but you will need an Allen key, generally a five millimeter one. Make sure that this barrel adjuster is all the way in, and then I tend to unscrew it just a couple of turns to give me some adjustment either way. Now locate the bolt, undo it. Right now, we're going to push the pads manually into the rim then pull the cable through just gently. We don't want it completely tight. So pull that through, let go of the brakes just very slightly. So they come away from the rim, just a small tiny bit and do it back up. As it happens, I've got some beginner's luck and that's absolutely perfect. If you do find that it's still too far away, then you can just try the process again. If on the other hand, you find they're slightly too close, you can use this barrel adjuster again. As I said, I unwound it just slightly before I did the change to the cable. So just turn it, back in and that gave you a little bit more play at the brake lever before the pads engage. Another common reason for poorly performing brakes when you're out on the road is the actual pads not contacting the rim surface correctly. If the rim pad is too high, it will be touching the tire, it will eventually wear through it and you'll have a puncture out training which you might not even be able to fix. Too low on the other hand and you'll start to gouge either a scratch or even a groove below the rim braking surface, which is the last thing you want, especially if you've got some expensive tires. So if you find you are in that situation, grab your multi-tool out again four millimeter Allen key, and you can undo the brake pad bolt here. Okay, next thing to do is to pull your brake on with the other hand. Now adjust it so it's perfectly flat and in line against the rim here. Now whilst you hold it on, do it up. Now once you've got it reasonably tight, before you really wrench it round, you can let the brake pad go now it's in the right position. Just hold the brake pad itself or the shoe here Give it one last turn just to make sure it's completely tight. Check that it meets the rim brake surface properly and do the same on the other side. We've all had moments on our bikes where it feels like the brakes are rubbing and unfortunately the majority of the time they're not. We've just got bad legs. However, there are some situations where that actually is the case. And again, it's not something that's difficult to fix. All you need to do just to make sure, get off your bike, spin your wheel. If it's moving freely like that, you haven't got any brake rub. If however, you spin it and it stops almost immediately, then you have happy days, you'll go faster when it's solved. Now it might just be the case that the caliper here isn't properly central, but first things first, I always check that the wheel is properly located into the dropout. Make sure it's properly seated in there, still rubbing though. So it looks like this brake caliper has got moved somehow and make it so that the caliper is pretty central. So you've got an even gap between the brake blocks and the rim on either side. If you've got any problems which you've encountered out training with your brakes that we haven't gone through here, please let us know. We'd love to hear from you. And again, if you've got any ingenious solutions that we've missed out on, let us know in the comments section down below.
For the best cycling mechanical videos on the entire GCN channel, click here or to subscribe, click on me.